What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. Triple permanent cold snap sea ice challenge rimworld 1.6. So these dudes are actually approaching. I'm not. I don't see them anywhere. Anyway, uh, we're still alive. Oh, they'll fight for me. I can't house six additional people, though. That's going to be the issue. Oh, shoot, Georgette. He's making the ship computer core. We will forbid that at the last minute. Okay. So the ship is ready to go. Spites, bills, you're making advanced components. I desperately, desperately need to do something about security here. This is just less than ideal. We need to extend these walls as well so that no one hides behind them and shoots at us. By no one, I mean Max. Don't do that. But otherwise, things are going okay here. I'll probably turn this thing on and see what we can smelt since everybody's home again. It's not been a great thing to have this in here, but it's worked out fine. So, yeah, lots to do. We could take one more pawn and not have to expand the ship any. I might be able to rework things. What? The game is totally clocked here. Yeah, you can't put these on here, but I might be able to shift, like, I don't know, the engines or something. Fearful structure. Oh, a healer mech serum. West is still waiting on a bionic leg. Everybody's still waiting. Everybody except two or three of them. Everybody except three of them are still waiting on legitimate guinea pig gear as well. And, uh, the work, the work, the work. Everybody is going to mech insect safe. And what do we have for material? We have slate. I bought some granite. I have 40 sandstone. That should give me eight wall chunks. That's the end of my 40 sandstone right there. So, we have our work cut out for us here. Prepping for the end game while... Waiting around for guinea pigs to mature, really. I could up the number of mature females allowed, which would get us more guinea pigs and a faster stream of guinea pigs arriving. <laughs> but I think we're doing okay in that regard. So we'll build barricades, sandbags. I'm going to do it all over there. She's not even cold, man. And it's neg to now she's finally getting cold, but not too bad. Niklas, we need to up your gear if you're going to be outside working, little buddy. Ah, he's botching construction because he's cold. You go inside the base, friend. They got all the way to minor just in that little bit. So lots of work, but we're approaching the end game. Finally. <laughs> mm, shaman merchant that we will never be able to reach. Oh, at least that poison just spread. Not sure that was a good idea. I should have threw it further away. There was no real motivation for throwing it there. You're going to eat out here. She's been doing that since the very, very beginning of the game. Okay, so now I can focus on... Well, not that area game. Over here. I'm going to do sandbags because I have a ton of cloth material. No real reason other than that. I'm going to shift some of these walls around too so we can get this whole thing roofed over. And we have material to rebuild these should we need to. Although I am going to sell a fat chunk of this. but Alright, this one's got to move some of it else. I think I'll put that one there. This one didn't get moved yet, but that's okay. I think I can move this one here. Okay. This gun can drop down in here. Probably gonna need some more power in this direction too. Architect power. We're sitting on 87 steel. I probably should deconstruct. Yeah, whatever. It's fine, right? Deconstruct all the crap, crappy turret and put good turret in was what I was gonna say, but I never actually finished a thought. There's no doubt you've discovered. Alright. Now... Barricades. These need to move. I think I'm half tempted to keep our people like one step back, but I also want them to be able to 
shoot at what we're trying to shoot at. And, uh, I don't know, whatever the guns are shooting at, turret guns, I mean. It would be nice if they could all aim at the same targets. I guess I can unpause it while I'm doing this. Someone's hypothermic, but it seems like they're going inside, so we're okay. Alright, that's all that. I do need to make an additional one of those there. Now, what could go wrong? <laughs> Most of the time, I like to be behind walls. So I could, like, work walls into this, but I don't have enough space to get everybody behind a wall for five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine spaces to stand here. The downside is we're all huddled up next to each other. That's a major downside. Let's build some roof here as well. I'm sure you're all going to criticize the living crap out of this whole thing, whole thing I got going on here. And that's fine. What the hell was that? Why are you putting roof over there, dude? I did not mean to do that. That's going to totally disable these two turbines. That's fine, right? They'll get them back online momentarily. All right, now perhaps people keep telling me this. Wherever you're standing and hanging out, put something pretty. <laughs> people kept telling me that in the heat wave game. Like, you got to get something pretty where they're standing. It'll improve their opinion. Okay, fine. And now uh, I know I built this whole drug lab thing. I want a decent stash of psychoid tea for the end game as well. So it's probably time we started doing that. Uh, let's see, a group of travelers are passing by. I feel the map shaking. <laughs> Those dudes are toast. Okay, if we could use a little light out here as well. Let's put that in. Come on, little buddy, you can select it. These lights are bullshit. I can't, I can't. Oh, there it is. I found it. Dude, how BS is that? Look at that. Okay, I finally got a hold of it. Jesus. Okay, I want this to connect up top there. Will you not go there? Do I have to just manually rotate you? I just hope it can range to that one where it's always on. That'd be nice. We'll see. Now, more turrets. We need more turrets. It might be wise to at least put something in front of that. What kind of stone do I have? Let's do some slate. I put slate down here. I don't know why it's always easier to build copy. It's just going to protect that thing. Might be wise to double wall this whole shebang. At least this one, but breachers or grenades are going to go through that wall in no time. Alright, you. Oh my god, the light. There we are. We have light, people. Alright, now we need steel components. Tempted to make another one of these bad boys. I can mix this up too and like make it so our pawns can spread out down the line. I don't know if the guns will blow through the... I might have to put walls in here if I do that. The guinea pig... I could put doors here and really block this in, but I don't really care that much. Guinea pigs are giving birth. No one's doing smelting. It's because Spites is busy over here working on stuff. Alright. I'm feeling okay about it so far, but I could do like... How much of this stuff do I have? I could run a whole barricade. This costs as much as a stinking wall, man. What if we just did something like this? I don't know if we get, get any benefit for having two of them. Usually what I would do would be like this. And when the mechs start blasting us with those exploding inferno cannons or whatever the hell they are, they tend to hit these because they're going over multiple obstacles. Again, that's certainly something you're going to criticize, but I've seen it work a thousand times. If I get wiped out at the end game, <laughs> you'll get the last laugh. A base attack. We're going to pick up fighters and take them somewhere to have a fight. I don't need any of that stuff anymore, man. We made enough friends. More friends than we needed is what we've made. How are we doing for wolf hide? We still have 583. That's good. Probably keep all that. A lot of that crap I could sell off, though. I don't know why no one's smelting. 
Let's double check that. They smelted the apparel. I don't know. It's there. It's available. Alright, we're making that bionic leg now as well, so... Oh, we're getting nuzzled by guinea pigs, which makes people happy. I <laughs> can't complain too much about that. Uh, we need to be on top of the steel thing. We have... What do we have for... We have 153 uranium. Each one of these bad boys takes 60. Ouch. It's kind of brutal. I think I'm going to mix this up and put walls in between. And... Yeah, it feels like a safer bet. Although these stupid sandbags will start on fire. That is, that it, that is a potential risk at any point. And we have a go frenzy for Georgette. Which is just fine. And these are tedious. And this is tedium. But it's easier if you use the hotkeys, I'll tell you that. Rather than clicking around with your mouse for 20 minutes trying to get something done like this. Alright, we need just one more. I should be good for that. And then we have a fair amount of slate. I think I'm just going to do it this way. Ah, that one's going to have to move, though. I'm going to back it up one. This one, too. And this this one's going to stay put. We'll see where it ends up. There we go. Beautiful. Well, it is a safer bet, but sadly, I don't think it's going to be any... Not It's not going to be sensible to have this thing around because there's not going to be many people standing here. I'm going to try and spread the people out a bit. And it just feels like a safer play. Reinstall this one over here somewhere. And the same for this one. See what we can accomplish here by <laughs> not... Uh, Letting our people all stand in the same place. We do have a go frenzy for Georgette. It looks hodgepodge. I probably have enough granite to do most of this in granite, but it's fine. Alright, I think so. there'll be a gun there. This one can go over there, and this one can go over there. So where the barricades are is where the people will stand. That one can go there, and this one can go there, and then we need some slate walls. If it's just people standing there, or turrets, it's not as big of a deal. One thing that's useful is to make a bunch of turrets and just uninstall them. Because then... Uh, oh shoot, I'm going to need power this direction as well. Where is it at? There it is. Totally unprotected. <laughs> Eh, if they get behind us, we're in deep doo-doo anyway, so I guess it is what it is, right? I think I can build a light back here. Maybe here as well. They won't be on most of the time anyway, so that should be fine. Okay, where do we end up with for steel? We ended up at... It appears as if we're at zero. No, we have 30 now. Uh, Uranium. Maybe I'll just build two more of these, but keep them stockpiled. Let's go check our wealth. Oh! <laughs> what the hell, man? That raid brought a lot of wealth in. And a lot of wealth is sitting over here, but this is also good ablative armor against non-mech attacks, so I'm not terribly opposed to it being there. So probably... i to sprinkle a few more turrets around in here. Maybe pop a few inside and then start deconstructing all the crap we're not going to need. I'm going to wait because we do... Oh, the battery's doing not great. Sorry, we do have to wait until we end up getting the guinea pig gear. Which we only have 95 currently. We do have a bunch that we can slaughter. You dudes, come lay over here please. Lock in the doorway. Alright, well, it's much more involved than it was previously. And maybe some additional power is in order. If I'm going to pop more turrets out here, probably this. Ooh, I don't know if I should keep. I should probably keep that. 
case the militors uh, take some abuse or die. It takes a full day to, or day and a half, I think, to repair one in there. So now we're trying to stockpile steel, which we have one piece left. <laughs> Should bring my other deep drill down, but I want enough to build two would be 120. And then enough to build like two more. So I'm looking for 240 total. I wonder if some of these things use uranium. Bionic leg. Something appears to have used it. Maybe it was the ship though. Mm, yeah, it could have been this. Yeah, that used 14. So that's where it went. So we want about 240 plus 14, 254 of that stockpiled. It is the third day of winter, neg 226 Fahrenheit, neg 140, it would have been neg 144 Celsius at about 11 a.m. at the time. This stuff can be hauled. Didn't even see that guy down there. Somehow they just sneak down on you. And these people we can't really get a hold of yet. I could grab this, I guess. It's worthless, though, as far as I'm concerned. We have ship chunks over there. Can anybody target that? Architect. That'll be steel and components. You can't really complain about it. Hypothermia. Who's hypothermic? Probably Niklas. He's been outside a lot. He's at 6.5. Georgette's at... You know what? We're gonna just going to have to keep everybody except Georgette. Which is weird. Because they have the same... No, Niklas does not have the same gear. Yeah, everybody else can stay in the base area except Georgette. I'm going to babysit her so she doesn't get shot to bits. But she's pretty far away from him. I think we'll be okay. I will keep an eye on her hypothermia situation. While you're standing here, dude, you might as well. And while you have the capacity to do so. Uh, okay, the lifter has those reserved. Well, I got 20 steel for that one. That's kind of crap. I thought it was 30 before. What haves, man? How are we doing for your guinea pig stash? 27 now. Oh, yeah, we got. To, where's Pukram? There you are. Forget about the rice for a minute. Let's do some butchering. Anything we can butcher would be nice as well. And by butcher, <laughs> I mean uh, smelt. I don't see anything. We are getting a little stockpile of steel going. Yeah, the batteries are suffering a bit. I didn't add anything that's actually plugged in. We have seven spots for pawns, and we have seven violent pawns, so that's good. I could burn the carcasses that are nearby, but it feels like whatever. All right, well, that's security, man. Minus this, probably I'll put one over here. These I don't foresee needing anymore. We'll just deconstruct those right away. I'm going to keep the mortar just in case. Seems like a worthwhile endeavor. Uh, we do have a bionic leg. West, you need to go on the end of the line because you're the last dude that came here. And you need a right leg. So let's uh, right leg you. Okay. Spites, I wish you would have done that in the hospital, friend. He was sleeping. I think he's got a lot of hair and facial hair for a 13-year-old. Bio. He's already at shooting level 2, so that's good. Things are breaking down. We still have 53 components. We're going to make some more advanced components. I want at least enough to build this. And we'll go from there. Wouldn't hurt to have a ton more components. But again, we're going to have a bunch of extra guns laying around. I'm thinking about walling this off. Making a room here just to put all of our extra turrets and stuff in. Seems like that would be worthwhile. This light I might be able to connect. Hey, there it is. This one I think I'm SOL on. That's okay, we don't really need it. Ah, look at that, connect right to that. Beautiful. And a marble meteorite right there. Ah, I guess that'll be useful. We do have someone with hypothermia. It's Regina again. This room is sufficiently warm at this point. Yeah, we definitely have to deconstruct everything we can. Burn as many bodies as we can. The wealth went up at that last raid and never went back down. <laughs> so 
Uh, I did a bunch of smelting. I guess there's still a bunch of piggies, and there all this stuff still laying around. It might be worth cleaning this up, just because there's a defoliator that never affected me. Yeah, there's a fair amount of material over there. Uh, Fabio's bison wool tribal wear just completely rotted away. I guess we can go to ah uh, whatever. Just go with what we got. Wouldn't be bad to just sell off everything we don't need to. So it would be nice to get a trader before I fire up the end game. Really, I'm just waiting for the guinea pigs to provide us. Oh. Oh, man. We got a, we have a ton of it. Hold on now. So do we can do two of each. Well, please leave me a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I read them all. I do respond. I appreciate you guys being with me today. I love you all. We're getting damned close at this point. I'll see you next time.